What if your favorite characters from Harry Potter movie were played by different actors? Tim Roth, known for such films as Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, and the TV series Lie to Me, had already signed a contract and was ready to begin filming in 2000, but director Tim Burton wanted the actor to star in the remake of the film Planet of the Apes. Roth showed interest in both projects and even attempted to create a tight travel schedule that would allow him to work on both films. However, the proposed schedule turned out to be too demanding for the actor and he decided to decline the role of Snape in favor of Burton's film. There's a legend among Harry Potter fans that Keanu Reeves was considered for the role of Severus Snape. In fact, this is not true. Although the actor's mother was a British citizen, the actor is Canadian. And even if he wanted to play a role in Harry Potter, he would most likely have been refused. As we know, the creators insisted that only British actors should play in the film. Actor Robin Williams, known for films such as Jumanji, What Dreams May Come, and Good Will Hunting, wanted to play Rubius Hagrid. According to Warner Brothers Pictures, he was considered perfect for the role, but J.K. Rowling insisted that only British actors be cast in the film. Even his personal calls to the film's director, Chris Columbus, didn't help. So Rubius Hagrid was ultimately played by Robbie Coltrane. There were many aspiring actresses for the role of Hermione Granger, but only two young actresses made it to the final auditions, Emma Watson and Hattie Jones. The producers faced a difficult choice, Hattie Jones, the star of the film Madeline, or Emma Watson, who was still an unknown actress at the time. As we know, Emma Watson emerged victorious. Popular British actor David Walliams, who is known to many as one of the judges on the show Britain's Got Talent, received an offer to play the role of Barty Crouch Jr. However, he declined, considering the role to be too small. He was hoping for something more substantial, such as a role as one of the professors at Hogwarts. But the producers thought differently, and no other offers came to Walliams, and the role was played by David Tennant. Joanne Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter books, was offered the role of Lily Potter, Harry's mother. It would have been somewhat symbolic, but the writer declined because she considered herself a poor actress, unable to portray the full range of such an important character. In the end, the role went to Geraldine Somerville. Hugh Grant, known for films such as Bridget Jones's Diary, Love Actually in The Gentleman by Guy Ritchie was cast as Gilderoy Lockhart and was already preparing for filming. However, at the last moment, he backed out to star in the film Two Weeks Notice with Sandra Bullock. Director Chris Columbus tried to persuade him to stay in the film, but the actor refused. As a result, the role went to Kenneth Branagh. Jason Isaacs also auditioned for this role, but producers felt that the actor was much better suited for the role of Draco Malfoy's father at that time, the actor was involved in filming Peter Pan as Captain Hook and did not want to be typecast as the villain in two children's films, so he declined the offer. However, his family persuaded him for a long time to join this franchise, and eventually, the actor agreed. Actor Thomas Brody Sangster, known for such films and series as The Maze Runner, The Queen's Gambit, and Game of Thrones, auditioned for the role of Ron Weasley, but the role went to Rupert Grint. Later, the actor revealed in an interview that he wasn't too upset about the rejection. He gained valuable experience that proved useful to him in other films. Tom Felton also auditioned for this role. Henry Cavill, known for films like Man of Steel, Mission Impossible in the series The Witcher auditioned for the role of Cedric Diggory, but he was rejected because the actor was deemed too old. The role went to Robert Pattinson. Interestingly, Pattinson also got another role that was initially planned for Cavill, Edward Cullen in Twilight. However, the actor's career turned out quite successful.
Actress Tilda Swinton, known for such films as Doctor Strange, The Grand Budapest Hotel, and The Chronicles of Narnia, was the first choice for the role of Professor Sybil Trelawney. She already had experience playing a witch in The Chronicles of Narnia, and her ability to portray extravagant characters would undoubtedly have allowed her to brilliantly play this role. But due to a tight filming schedule and personal reasons, the actress declined and the role went to Emma Thompson. Actor David Thewlis, who portrayed Professor Remus Lupin, initially auditioned for the role of Professor Quirrell, but couldn't accept the offer due to filming commitments for another movie. Instead, he suggested Ian Hart audition for the role. Several years later, Thewlis was offered the role of Remus Lupin, thus receiving an offer that was better than what he had originally wanted. Rosamund Pike, known for films such as Die Another Day, Jack Reacher, and Pride and Prejudice, was supposed to play the Daily Prophet journalist Rita Skeeter. However, she was unhappy with the character's limited screen time and declined the offer. Later, Pike expressed interest in the film again, but it was too late. The role was played by Miranda Richardson. British actor Sean Connery, primarily known as the first James Bond, was also the initial candidate for the role of Professor Albus Dumbledore, but he considered the role unserious and it went to Richard Harris. After Harris's death, the role of Dumbledore was offered to Peter O'Toole, the star of Lawrence of Arabia. However, due to health issues, the actor could not accept the role. The second candidate after O'Toole was Ian McKellen, who portrayed the wizard Gandalf in The Lord of the Rings, but the actor declined out of respect for Harris. The role was also offered to Christopher Lee, who played the evil wizard Saruman in the same Lord of the Rings series, but he also declined out of respect for Richard Harris. In the end, the role of Dumbledore was played by Michael Gambon. Originally, the role of Bellatrix Lestrange was supposed to be played by Helen McCrory. However, due to her pregnancy, the actress had to decline the filming and the role went to Helena Bonham Carter. Later on, she managed to rejoin the cast as Draco Malfoy's mother, Narcissa Malfoy. It's hard to imagine now, but someone else could have played the role of Harry Potter instead of Daniel Radcliffe. But it could have happened. One of the strongest contenders for the lead role was actor Liam Aiken, whose performance impressed the producers. However, J.K. Rowling intervened, insisting that only a British actor should play the role. Later, Liam landed a role in a series of unfortunate events, while the world knows Harry Potter as portrayed by Daniel Radcliffe.